Bristol again. I knew I was going to say that. Last week, the Scorchers had their best result of the season, beating the Flyers by 80 to 75. Doing it all over again this week are Josh Bett and Graham Hiscock. Thank you, Janetta. Welcome, Basel fans, here to Surrey Sports Park for tonight's game in the British Basel League between our hosts, the Surrey Scorchers, and the visitors, the Bristol Flyers. Well, good evening, Basel fans. I'm your commentator, Josh Bett, alongside Graham Iscock. Graham, welcome back. This could be a great game. These two teams, they got a little bit of history against each other. Yeah, only played last week. Uh, sequel time. Surrey Scorchers won that brilliantly, 80-75. We're talking about some of their key players. Bristol Flyers, three losses out of their last four. They've got to get a W tonight. Well, we're going to take a look at the starting lineups for these two teams. We'll begin with the host of Scorchers. Well, Lloyd Gardner's team coming out here with Padilla Wang along with Abdul Muhammad. Not to mention Quinn Cooper, Saquon Jameson and Josh Still. That is just starting five for the Scorchers. On well, the visitors, on the other hand, Coach Andres Kapoulis, he's going out with a different lineup here tonight. We're going to see Jacob in the backcourt along with Roel Graham Bell, Tevin Ollison, CJ Jackson, and not to mention Brad Green. This is going to be a very exciting matchup between two very good teams. But Graham, we got to look at the key players look out for tonight. And, you know, one player comes to mind is Quinn Cooper. Yeah, huge performance last night. He Coach Gardner, I'm sure, has been waiting for what happened last week. Five out of eight from beyond the three-point line, 23 points. He's going to need to do it again. Play with confidence, play some defense as well, share the basketball. Quinn Cooper is the full package. Well, the other player to look out for, Tevin Ollison here for the Flyers. What can we say about this superstar? Yeah, heroic performance last week, uh, last night against Manchester Giants, but it wasn't enough. Things just went west for the Bristol Flyers. He's going to have to do it all over again tonight. Well, Vassal fans, we invite you here to the Surrey Sports Park for this big matchup here between Surrey Scorchers and, of course, the Bristol Flyers. Coach Lloyd Gardner ready for this game. But, Vassal fans, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be back momentarily. Welcome back, Basel fans. Our referee, Tahir Akar, getting ready for the action tonight, along with Joe Hodgson, and not to mention Alejandro Martinez Naya. Our three referees for tonight's game. Well, Graham, as you mentioned, they met last week. It's going to be a tough one, a very close encounter. Two teams ready for action. Yeah, and can Bristol Flyers get back to winning ways after a tough loss last night? Surrey arrested. They have a big road trip tomorrow. But tonight, it's going to be a lot about Paddy at Wang. Well, Wang going for the early entry. You know, you make a good, 
you know, a very early remark about Pad Padilla Wang. I mean, what is it about his game that makes him such a great player for the Scorchers? Well, he does a bit of everything. He's scoring, he's starting to be a closer. He certainly was last week with a couple of big threes, but he's long, athletic, good defender, and can share the basketball as well. Well, Flyers trying to penetrate, they find Wang again, ladies and gentlemen. Look out below, Wang, well, that's a hard foul from behind, and Padilla Wang will be going to the free throw line. I think we saw one Dan Clark just stand up there out of protest. Yeah, well, they, Bristol Flyers must have thought Wang was going to take off and get some Paddy at Wang Airways action, but uh, he was fouled, two shots. That that will, that will do at Surrey School, so that's a good start for them. Get the ball in Paddy at Wang's hand early. Yo, one part of Padilla Wang's game has definitely improved from last season is his ability to shoot the ball. You know, not just from the free throw line, of course, but, you know, more of an isolation play. We know he's a slasher, likes to go to the bucket, but we really have seen him step up and make some big shots. Yeah, and two massive threes last week to get the W. He's missed that free throw there. But one of the threes he hit was really deep where the defense went under the screen set for him. So I'm sure Bristol Flyers have done their scout. They'll be ready for him and Quinn Cooper, of course, who was huge. Well, Flyers trying to break down a 2-3 zone defense. Ray Bell here, top of the high post. They go for a deep three, just can't get it. And oh, the foul is going to be called against Muhammad, I believe. Yeah, that's one of Bristol Flyers' other big problems is Brad Green. He is leading rebounder in this league alongside Saquon Jameson. Really keep a close eye on that big man match tonight. But he's tough to box out, isn't he? Yeah, he's a big, big unit, as is Saquon. Saquon's slightly more athletic, but what I like about Green, they need to get the ball into him in the post because he's very skillful, can play with his back to the basket. Looking forward to that matchup. Graham Bell now looking for the dump down. Trying to go to the big man. It's the post mismatch you want to go to, and it's the kind of bread and butter you expect him to put away, Graham. Yeah, that left hand jump hook is, is his go to move, or one of them certainly. Good D from Jameson, just doing enough. Wang trying to orchestrate something here. Finds Jameson. Again, just has a bit of lack of concentration. But you know, that's where you want to get the ball to Saquon Jameson. Get him some touches and, you know, try to take the pressure off the Surrey backcourt. Yeah, give him the ball where he doesn't have to dribble or maybe just one dribble, but that's where he's not quite got the skill level of a Brad Green. Maybe the hands aren't quite as soft as Brad Green for catching those passes. Well, cut on the screen, trying to go to Green. Well, Green's going to get called for the foul, surely this time. Oh, no. Yeah, they are, yeah. That's the right call, I believe. Well, Graham, go back there. What great defense by Josh Steele to come over, cement that position to draw the foul against Brad Green because you know, Green doesn't need to push him. Doesn't need to make that contact. Yeah, great job by Josh Steele, who is another player who's really stepped up in these big performances for Surrey Scorchers. But yeah, they've got to do it as a team. They can't just go one-on-one -on -one with Green because he gets some really good angles and he will cause all sorts of problems if it's one-on-one -on -one defense coverage. Well, Surrey currently without a natural point guard in the game. Finally, Quinn Cooper. Step back, takes a three, three is up. This guy, if he gets cooking tonight, it could be a long night for the, for the uh, Flyers, excuse me. Yeah, great step back from Quinn Cooper, just what we talked about pre-game. There's a little lob play, nice little penetration down the middle. Jackson just getting things going here for the Flyers. Yeah, new player, and they desperately need some new impetus. Bristol Flyers losing three of their last four games. This is so huge tonight for them. A bit of poor space between Quinn Cooper and Padilla Wang. Time winding down. Wang nowhere to go. Has to force up a tough three-pointer of Green in his face. No good, and the Flyers secure the ball. Nice cross-court, finding Jackson in the corner. Well, here's where the Surrey like to play. They like to play in tempo. They go to Muhammad, but it, you know, that's the kind of turnover you just cannot afford to make, Graham. Yeah, they've got to be on the game. They may have won last week, but this is a whole new script for them. Blank canvas, and that's just sloppy by Muhammad. He really worked hard to get open, and this player, Quinn Cooper, I mean, he's been all round Europe and the Far East or the Middle East and playing in all sorts of different leagues, and he's such a super player. Well, Graham Bell goes for a tough fadeaway, almost got it, can't get it. Wayne gets another rebound, trying to push the tempo. Hangs up there, but good defense by Brad Green, and now Bristol with a chance to counterattack. 
Patience needs to be the key of their offense. Also need to build that identity. Try to move the ball, make it difficult for Surrey's defenders. Jackson coming off a ball screen, trying to hesitate. This is one out. Here's a play that likes to shoot the three. Three is up. He's taken two good looks so far, but aren't able to knock him down, Graham. Yeah, that was really deep three and right at the end of the shot clock. Both teams going a little bit one-on-one -on -one here. goes up, and again, beautiful move there by Padilla Wayne. But going back to what you're saying, of course, you know, defensively, Bristol looking very bold, but offensively, they are moving the ball very well. Yeah, both teams need to share that ball and move it. And again, Wang, he's such a problem if he's anywhere near a passing lane. Finds Green the post, big man goes up, could have got it at one, but that's what he does best. Yeah, moving without the ball, perfect bounce pass into the key. Just elevates and finishes with the right hand. Wang throws the out, oh my goodness, almost connected with it. Well, just didn't get enough elevation. Finds Royal Graham Bell. He's going to throw it down, and we're all locked in at six apiece. And to an action between the Flyers and the Scorchers. Yeah, it's exciting, full of mistakes as well. He's just not sure what's going to happen next. But Jameson there, Josh, he's, he's got to be finishing that. He just didn't quite time his lead. Well, didn't quite have the bunnies to elevate and finish that one, but changes coming in for the Scorchers. This nice little no look dime. A throw down by the big man, but. You know, Surrey making a double change, bringing in Andrew Lawrence and, of course, Jordan Hunt. Both players with FIBA international basketball experience. Andrew Lawrence also played in the 2012 Olympics. But, you know, a lot of people have questioned, can he play a full season? i got to tell you, something that we don't pay him enough homage for. He's had injury after injury, but still finds a way to get back and still perform at a very high level. Yeah, I've, I've been really impressed with Lawrence. He, he's a real X factor for the Scorchers, for sure, as as Hunt drives to the basket. And we were talking pre-game about Jordan Hunt. Can he play a little bit more inside and be more of a big presence just to help Saquon Jameson out? Well, you know, when they signed Jordan Hunt, you know, I was very excited because having watched him play at the 2022 FIBA Asia Cup in Indonesia, he fe you know, featured for former British basketball league legend Piro Cameron for the Tall Blacks, New Zealand. And that's a very high level to play at, but it has taken him a little bit of time to transition to the speed and the stealth of the British Basketball League. Yeah, just to back that up, just three points in the in the game last week. A couple of rebounds, three assists. So he's, he's still waiting for that really big breakout game and a number of breakout games because Coach Lloyd Garvin needs him at the top of his game every week. Scorch is going back into a 2-3 zone. Samuels checking in here for the Flyers. As well as Rafa Thomas Edwards, no charge calls. Three is up and no good. Lawrence Fana Cooper, quick three on the transition. Three is up. Oh, good. Look at the elevation by Muhammad, but unable to put, the, put it back. But you want to see that, Grant, for both teams really contest for offensive rebounds here tonight. Yeah, the both teams have got great, great athletes, Paddy at Wang. And, and Muhammad is a good rebounder. Uh, but both teams have got to get after it, not just the break back Brad Green and the Bigs. Well, Basel fans, 4.49 to go here. We're going to take a short break as we will be back momentarily.
Welcome back, Basel fans. So far, Padilla Wang here with two rebounds and three points. And you know, Graham, you mentioned he needs to be the X Factor tonight for the Scorchers. Yeah, they want him to be a leader in this of this team and be a closer as he was last week, beating Bristol Flies. He does so much deflections as well. Some of the stuff that doesn't go on the box score changes shots and, and changes passes as well. Uh, but they need him to go off offensively. But having Justin Robinson back and on the floor is a huge help as well, Josh. Flyers just putting on a bit of full court zone press. Trying to slow down the offense. Scorch is trying to break it down. The Flyers do go into a matchup man to man defense. Humble, a bit of time and space off the pick and pop at the big man. Oh, great. <laughs> Who said he can't shoot three points? I may have said it before. <laughs> yeah, that's a big time play. Great screen and re screen from Hunt. And then he got the pass. Defense backed off. Nailed it. Just under halfway to go here in the first quarter. The team's trying to settle into their offense. Well, we've got an ankle breaker. Got to make this one. That would have been a big highlight. That goes out of bounds, but that's going to remain. Flyers ball on the sideline. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about regarding boxing out. Again, Brad Green getting that rebound. But this is what Hunt can do. You leave him open at your peril. When he's in rhythm, that was a perfect rhythm as he set the screen, popped out knocked it down without any hesitation, but he's got to box Brad Green out when he's got that assignment. Well, Thomas Edwards trying to isolate, using that brute strength against Padilla Wayne, but look how quickly the transition finds Hunt. Big man running the floor. That's a bit of showtime. Scorches Basel Graham. I think we saw that one happening before it eventually came out. Yeah, super pass right on time, right on target from Wang. Great catch from the big fella Hunt as well, and the finish. It's all down to the tempo of how Padilla Wang likes to play. I mean, as soon as the ball went in, it's deja vu, here was the post up. But he just got the ball in so quickly and decided I'm gonna play up into, you know, supersonic mode. And Samuels tries a deep one, can't get it. Smith with the offensive board. They're gonna call, not sure what happened here. Slight delay again, the officials. So what happened, did it go out of bounds or should have been a 24 second, yeah. 24 second violation. Yeah, already, I think Bristol are getting real problems. Getting the ball inside, not able to get that shot off, bringing it back outside, and that shot is a long way out beyond the three point half. Well, Coach Kapoulis clearly infuriated with the decision. Scorch is currently with Mohammed, Andrew Lawrence, Padir Wang, Jordan Hunt, and now the return here of the two time most valuable player of the British Basketball League. Justin Robson, what a big boost now for the Surrey Scorchers. Yeah, they got him on the ball straight away as well. Tries to go for a quick three-pointer right off the bench. He just needs to settle into the game a little bit. As Thomas Edwards goes up, he can't get the rejection, but gets his own rebound. Still can't get it, but that's going to go out of bounds, but that will go back to the Scorchers. He's tough. Yeah, it's tough. It, that is brute strength. That is just the will to want to get after every single loose ball and rebound. And that's a great job. He's, he's, he's shown that he's got good touch, but he's as well. But he's missed that, gone after it again. OK, they ha this time it, it hasn't worked out for him. But if he keeps playing like that, similar to like Rodman, just going after everything. And in the end, the ball ends up in your hand. Lawrence coming off one screen. Robinson left wide open, fakes the pass. Pulls up inside the key, and no problem for the two-time most valuable player of the British basketball league, Justin Robinson. Yeah, get the ball to Justin Robinson. He can create for himself. Quick dribble, pull up, jump shot. Seven point lead to the Scorchers. Smith's gonna turn it over and again at the moment. The Flyers just can't sell into any offense here, Graham. Yeah, it's a tough turnaround. They had the Manchester game last night. They were 27 up they were a lot 17 up sorry and lost by 12 and it's a it's a huge deflation for them and i'm sure coach kapoulis and his staff have been trying to get them up get them ready put that behind them and face this surrey scorchers team but at the moment they're struggling elliot bailey checking into the game for the scorchers robson nowhere to go find still three is up the corner just can't get it well hunt fighting for the boards gets fouled he'll go to the free throw and all of a sudden jordan hunt more aggressive, really showing that Kiwi nature inside him. Nice job by Elliot Bailey as well. They worked in tandem, Bailey kept it alive, but Hunt grabbed it and he's just got to be strong and go up and finish off the glass. 
And he's at the free throw line, which is where he wants to be. He's a, he's a good shooter. As we mentioned, national team player with the New Zealand Tall Blacks, played his university basketball in Southern Oregon. Leaving in 2020, started his pro career with the Wellington Saints in the National Basketball League. Makes them both high points here for Jordan Hunt. So putting on the full court pressure still. They lead by nine. Now they're going to sit back in a 2 3 zone and goes baseline, goes up, hangs in. Nice little finish. But no, Greg, going to love the high post entry down to the dump down. Yeah, those bounce passes, the killer bounce passes, high, low. That was just perfectly delivered and finished by the Bristol Flyers. Robson go back to Hunt. Well, why not? He's left wide open. He's made one three, makes another one. And again, the tall black laying a bit of hucker here on the floor. Yeah, the other wing just catches, shoots, nothing but net. Well, foul's going to be cool. I think this one's going to be against Andrew Lawrence, I believe. A slight little reach from behind, but... He's coming out a different play, but you know, anytime you make your perimeter shots, you play with a lot more confidence. And as you said, it's the game he needed, but there's a hesitation here. He doesn't shoot it right away, but you know, is he a pass first player or does he need to unleash the beast a little bit? Well, exactly the same rhythm on that first jump shot as well. He just waited. I think maybe that's just his rhythm. So he needs the extra little bit of time to get the shot off and create as much space as he can. They go under the ball screen, Jackson left wide open. That's a problem with these two teams. Weapons from the three-point line. That's going to be the battle of wits here tonight. How they defend every individual ball screen. Still penetrates, goes up, doesn't get the ad one, but he will go to the free throw line. Good to see Josh Steele being able to get that ball on the wing and just attack. He's just had big game after big game. Masari Scorch is in this latest run, and, and this is the thing with Scorchers, and we've talked about it previously, if they don't win, the game, they are only losing by a, sh a few points. They lost to Sheffield by three before they beat Bristol Flyers by five. And, and again, they're leading this game now. And I guess the more time you're leading, they had a 23 point lead against Leicester Riders. And we all know about how that happened, ended for them. And then they won the next game. So they're a very resilient group and they've got short memories when things don't go right for them, for them in the previous game. A lot of returning players from last season. Same as last season, you know, a lot of games went right down to the crunch, especially here at home. And, you know, you and I, we covered a lot of games for the Scorchers last season. For them, it's about growing pains. They've got to develop together as a team. Yeah, and having these, these guys come back, jo Josh Steele especially, he's just been absolutely superb. Thomas Edwards trying to go baseline. Surrey still going into his 2-3 zone defense. Another turnover. Can they push this one? Potential two for one for the Scorchers. The good job by Hunt. Saquon Jameson out of the game, not an issue. Hunt is stepping up, being more physical and really being a threat both ends of the floor. I think where Jordan Hunt has struggled this season has been defensively because he does get into a lot of foul trouble quite early on. But you can see right now, very focused, playing within himself, but you know, more importantly, delivering on the offensive end. 12 points already. Andrew Lawrence coming to the free throw line. Now him with his third season here with the Scorchers joined them in the 2021-22 season unfortunately falling to yet another injury but he's been good since then and he's done a magnificent job of taking care of his body and remaining injury free yeah he's just huge he, you need another create another body ball handler other than the likes of Paddy at Wang and Justin Robinson they've got lots of different threats I saw Bristol Flyers were thinking okay let's take Quinn Cooper out of his out of his stride, and then Jordan Hunt starts delivering him. There's another the turnover. Lawrence finds Hunt. Nowhere to go. And a wide open three, but again, patience needs to be the virtue. 11 point deficit. Still penetrates, draws another foul. He's going to go back to the free throw line. And you know, Flyers, the moment, choking under intense pressure. Seventh turnover of the night for Bristol Graham. Yeah, good, good decision just to throw that defense in the trap, and they had players around the ball. and. Bristol Flyers just coughed it up, just concentration, maybe a touch of fatigue from last night, but I'm sure the doctors and physios, they would have done everything they could to get Bristol Flyers ready for this for this crucial game. But Josh still back at the line, attempted left-hand finish um, and continuing to deliver. 
This will be the 11th free throw for the Scorchers. Right now 10 for 11 from the charity. The Flyers, on the other hand, haven't gone to the free throw line this evening. Well, he doesn't look too happy at the moment, does he? Coach no, he's under pressure. He's he under, under a lot of pressure. Of pressure. Yeah. Uh, and he's got injuries, he's got players down. Jackson's come in, done okay so far. Almost another turnover, they keep this one alive. Jackson here, trying to dribble this down here for the final shot. Time wide it down now, needs to isolate. Landolby has to put up a prayer, the three is up, no good. And Basel fans, at the end of the first quarter is indeed the Scorch to lead this one by 13 points, 26 to 13 against the Bristol Flyers. So far it's been excellent stuff from the home team. But now we can take a short break as we'll be back momentarily. Well, good game so far for Jordan Hunt. His team lead by 13 points against the Bristol Flyers. But you know, what has it been about his game that's made him more productive today? Well, he's wanted the ball. He's got himself involved in some screen action. He screened and popped twice. Got wide open both times, made both threes. He's being tough defensively. I'd like him to box out Brad Green. Let's see how he goes next time he's on the floor rebounding-wise. But really impressed with his all-round game tonight. Well, drawing the foul there. It's going to be on the ground. It's going to be a baseline ball to the Flyers. At the moment, Bristol just need players to step in and step up here at the moment because, as you mentioned, they're under pressure, pressure, a lot of injuries off the back of a big defeat last night, disappointed defeat. You know, they've got to pull through together, Graham. Yeah, you're right. And uh, they've just got to keep it within. They've got to stick together and just, just try and keep doing the right things. It's going to be a gradual process to turn this thing around. Good defense by Jameson. That's Brad Green, but no problem there for the big man. So he gets a second field goal of the game tonight. He doesn't need much room. Slight fumble, gets gets it back, push shot off the glass. Really impressive, Brad Green. Wang back into the lineup for the Scorchers. But then Wang just taking a bit too much time to get up the ball screen. Now picks his dribble up. Just a Bailey in the corner. No, Bailey gets the assist there on a missed shot attempt. But Jameson, he'll get the two points. Yeah, Jameson, different type of player and threat to Hunt. Gets right to the basket, finishes the miss from Baylor. Well, splits a defense, slicing and dicing. That is beautiful. Yeah, 
Jacob, one of the big, big players for Bristol Flyers. He's going to have to be huge tonight all over the court. Great spin move, as you say, Josh. Wayne pulls up a three. Three is up, and it's good. Well, Camp Padilla, Wayne, we talked about this, Graham. His three-point shooting has improved this year. Yeah, it's going up and up, and when he, when he just pulls up like that, the defense are nowhere near him. Nothing but net. That's well, Graham Bell, no offensive foul call. Bailey took the charge, but referee's happy to let play continue. But nice move by Graham Bell. Yeah, Bailey's got to try and be stronger there, just stay upright, get in good defensive position, but Bell too strong. Wayne coming off one screen, puts up the top pass. It's the second time it's happened tonight. And again, you appreciate what Padilla Wang's doing, but the pass is near impossible to catch. Yeah, a little bit flat on the bounce there. I like the bounce pass option, but it's almost behind him, behind his right hip. Just give it slightly in front of him, then Jameson's going to take off and give us a highlight play. Flyers with a chance to make this 10-point deficit, maybe single digits, if they can get a three-point. But here's a man who has been able to get it going so far. But you don't want to leave Landolfi wide open because, well, maybe you do, actually. But, I mean, you, he's usually will knock those shots down, but Jameson catching a tough one, finds Cooper. It's a bit of a quick shot there for the uh, Scorchers. Yeah, a couple of times, and certainly when we've covered them before, when he struggled, he just shoots that bit too quick. Maybe an extra pass and get it back next time. Well, Graham Bell going for the tough fadeaway. He can't get it. They're going to call the foul here again. Saquon Jameson. Well, that's that's the issue with boxing out. Now, he's boxed out the best he can against Brad Green. That has a few inches on Jameson. They've got tangled up. Referees have called it on the defensive player. But... Good intent from Jameson. Just next time, let's have a clean box out. Well, the big game tonight will be between the Caledonia Gladiators and the Newcastle Eagles. Gladiators coming off the back of a de disappointing defeat on the road against Anvil Wotswavik. Well, the Eagles taking care of business last night against the Plymouth City Patriots. That's later on tonight here at 8 p.m. Oh, missed a wide open layup. And Graham, I don't know who's going to be more disappointed. Lloyd Gardner for his team's defense yeah. or oh, Coach Kapoulis for the wide open lunch. Maybe Jackson was waiting for the block or some sort of physical defense from Surrey Scorchers. It never came, and he's just, his eyes are up, and in fact, there was some phys physicality. Yeah. Josh still got away, possibly with a bit of a foul there. And that's, I think, what Coach K is yeah. saying. I have to agree with Coach Kapoulis. I think he should be going to the free throw line. That's the benefit of the extra uh, camera angles and the reverse angle there. And again, now we've talked about Paddy. It's great, really good stuff. He does need to tighten up his turnovers. Any, even if in his absolute top performances, he's prone to turnovers. And already three, three quick ones here. Well, especially that one. He made the commitment to penetrate, and you know, Jameson was falling up for the offensive board. As Graham Bell goes for another tough fadeaway, can't get it. That goes out of bounds. Scorchers will get it back. So Wang making up for it. Competing with Lucas as it went out of bounds. Yeah, Jacob is, is saying it should have been, it should have been our ball. But again, just keep going. Like, when it's not going your way, keep diving on the loose balls. Keep going for the rebounds, both ends of the floor. And you just really hope, make some shots, obviously. You hope things are going to turn around. Well, he definitely came in last season and, you know, it was a very tough year for him and his players because so many injuries, so many players coming in and out of the lineups. But... Yeah, we've said this for a very, very long time about Surrey. The talent is definitely there, but you got to put, you know, you got to put the results on the floor at the end of the day. Yeah, and slowly but surely they are. And as long as they're learning, as long as they're learning from their losses, uh, some coaches say you don't lose, you learn. But uh, I'm not sure Dan Clark, the GM, looks at it like that. But uh, they are going to keep keep pushing. And as for Bristol Flyers, they're in a hole, and they need to just get some good stuff going maybe jackson can give them a spark uh, and ollison as well he needs to, to really step up as well well we had some exciting games in the british basketball league last night the sheffield sharks getting a big victory against one of the historical rivals the leicester riders that was a game in which we saw a very uncanny like leicester riders making some very costly turnovers but of course newcastle eagles well of course bristol flyers as you mentioned a big lead against the manchester giants and you know a fourth quarter where you know the Flyers just went missing. We didn't see where they went at that point. Giants pick up their third victory of the season on the road. But then the big one, of course, Newcastle Eagles setting the record straight and putting all the arguments to rest, taking care of the Puma City Patriots at the Virtua yeah. Arena. It was great. Three great games last night and uh, really enjoyed watching them in the commentary. And, and Joel uh, covering the Bristol game as well on Bristol Flyers TV. 
But Newcastle, again, they won that. They had a big lead, they lost it, got it back, and they're just taking care of business. Why now? This is off, finds Hunt. Hunt goes up. Big man finishing under pressure. And again, he's playing for an MVP tonight. Yeah, well, again, they're not, they're not guarding him, and he just ghosted him from the top of the key. Catch, finish, no problem for Jordan Hunt. 14 point lead to the Scorchers. Trying to go to Greenwood. Good defense again from Saquon Jameson. I think this is good. Oh, no. The one official signaled it was going to be. Yeah, sorry, ball. Yeah, good D. Oh. Just angled him off. Well, Andreas Kaboulis infuriated with that one. Yeah. I like the fact that Hunt and Jameson on the floor together gives, gives Surrey Scorchers a different look. Well, Hunt has a mismatch. It's called a double team. Has well, Jameson's wide open. Hunt's got to get the ball to him, but they're going to call a foul. That's not a bad foul there by Brad Green because had he not committed that, Jameson would have made it a 16-point ball game. Yeah, but at least they're getting the ball inside. You've got Hunt on one side, Jameson on the other, so the defense is having to look in. They're going to have to double the post, leaves leaves a shooter open. So I like Coach Gardner's tactics here. Cooper, quick catch and shoot fades away. And another foul committed. This one's against Jacob. So. Cooper's going to the free throw line. I think he's running out of ideas, Graham. Yeah, again, they've panicked when Quinn Cooper's got that because he can make the two, predominantly a three-point shooter. But they've just gone out. They've flown out there on the closeout, out of control a little bit. Bit of frustration, maybe. Um, and just going back to Bristol scoring, last night they only scored seven points in that fourth quarter. And they didn't score until two minutes remaining in the game. Uh, so they had a complete drought in that fourth quarter. And... Coach K, Coach Capillus will really be hoping that doesn't carry over to today. And at the moment, it, they are struggling with just 19 points and we're nearly halfway through the second. Now, he has a very interesting story. I believe he started his pro career in Palestine, if I'm correct, right? Yes, that's correct. Second division. I, I spoke with Lloyd, spoke with Lloyd earlier about Quinn, and he's he's been around a lot of countries, Germany, Holland, played in Sweden last year, but he's a really good pro, and he's also mentoring Cam Gooden, who's a rookie, uh, rookie pro, just come out of college, so they're, they're rooming together, uh, and they take care, they take care, uh, care, and certainly Quinn's taking care of Cam Gooden as he starts his pro career. Well, the team that he played for in the BNXT League in the Netherlands, as you mentioned, is a team called Aris Leovarden, and ended up going to Washington play last season on a short vacation to the Netherlands. So as you mentioned, he's a journeyman, who's played in some of the, you know, respectfully, not so familiar leagues that, you know, international basketball fans be known, but you can see the kind of pro he is. He's dedicated, he's very committed, but he's just one hell of a shooter. Yeah, and he's getting his chance here at Surrey, and I'm sure they're really taking to him. He's a good guy. Well, Graham Bell penetrates, and he will go to the free throw line. Finally, Andreas Kapoulis. Looks slightly relieved that he feels his team's finally getting a call. And Chance for his team to chip into the deficit. Yeah, I think just get to the free throw line for, for Bristol Flyers. That's that's the key. Just stop the clock. Let's just regroup, get some scores on the scoreboard without the clock moving because they're uh, they're in a bit, bit of a hole again here early in the second quarter. Well, that's their first free throw attempt of the evening, and it comes to a miss. Scorch is currently 13 for 14 from the charity stripe. Makes this one, he'll cut it down to 15 point deficit. 5.47 to go here in the second quarter. Missed them both. Well, they come up with loose balls. A little bit better here from the Flyers. Wallace is going to fire up from the perimeter, but again, they, something that we're just not used to seeing. Bristol struggling from the perimeter. I mean, it's only the first half, but. As you mentioned, game last night, they got to find other ways to score, but now can the Scorchers continue to pile on the pressure? Wayne coming off one screen, finding Justin Robinson. Well, Hunt fancies the mismatch. Spinning around, Big Mac going to work too strong on that, Graham. Yeah, just got his footwork maybe slightly, a bit awkward, and just a bit strong off the glass. I think working so far here for the Flyers. and thought about going for the three. And, you know, smart play there by Jacob because, you know, he had to play cat and mouse between two players who can shoot the ball very well from the perimeter. Yeah, and that's all about spacing. But Surrey Scorchers, when they've got their shooters on the floor, let's just make sure one defender can't guard two of you. And Coach Lloyd, 
he's, he's got to be pretty happy, but he mustn't take his foot off the gas. The Surrey Scorchers are the team that are well rested. They've got to keep going, keep going. They've got another game tomorrow, so I think rotate is as far down his bench as he can to keep players fresh for tomorrow as well. And now we're under five minutes here in the second quarter. Wang just taking his time here, but time slowly winding down for the Scorchers. Backdoor play finds Hart, throws it down. The big man from New Zealand. Well, he is on fire at the moment. Graham, he now has 16 points in tight for the Scorchers. Basel fans, we're going to take a short break as we will be back momentarily. Well, Quinn Cooper right now settling into the game, but Grant, go back to this play here. I mean, it's the screen for Quinn Cooper that gets it going. Yeah, they just waited and waited and waited and watched. He's got, he's got under his player, and the player that's got Hunt's trying to go over the top, away from the bucket. It was an easy decision for, for Hunt just to dive straight to the bucket. And again, Paddy at Wang, passes on time, on target. 18-point lead for the Scorchers. Jacob top of the key, Jacob elevates. That's much better way now because you can see they're showing a bit more confidence to try and attack the defense of the Scorchers. Scorchers right now sense a bit of you know, nervousness, but that time Bristol do a good job of getting it to Jacob. But now can the Scorchers get something going again? Well, Wang here with the ball in his hands. Got it by Smith. Trying to spin around, nowhere to go here. Five well, on the shot clock. It's always a problem when you have that mismatch because time's winding down. Wang is so tricky. He's just able to draw a foul against almost anybody on the court. Yeah, he gets so low. He's lower than his defender. Uh, and, if, and once you're lower than your defender, that defender has got major issues. And if, if it is a mismatch, as you say, Josh, the big is not going to be able to move his feet as quick as Paddy Wang can attack the hoop. Scorch is still leading by 16. Thomas Edwards defensively trying to match up with Padilla Wang. Wang with a step back. Hell Murray three-pointer just can't get it. Nice little dime across. Just a little bit too much, but right idea there from Jacob. Yeah, try and catch Surrey Scorchers by surprise, but Wang was back. Uh, and it was a tough pass for Brad Green to catch, but good idea by Bristol Flyers. Now we're under four minutes. The switch on defense. Hunt's being guided by Jackson. They gotta get the ball to the big man. Lawrence is gonna pull up. The three is up, and again, no good. And you know, Graham, Andrew's a great three-point shooter, but you gotta get the ball to Hunt if he's being guarded by Jackson. Yeah, absolutely. No, no hesitation. That ball should go in. Even if he doesn't get the score, he can still kick it back out. Thomas Edwards got it by Muhammad. They took the gamble there, and you know that's what they've got to go to. Get the ball to the big man, the big green machine. Yeah, slowly but surely, Flies getting a foothold. Two missed threes from Surrey Scorchers, and Flies making a couple of twos. 
We go for another three. This one's from Justin Robson. No problem. Right in the face of Brad Green. Yeah, that's just wonderful confidence from Justin Robinson. What a key player he is when he's fully fit and firing right in Brad Green's face. 17 point deficit. That's going to go back to the Flyers. That's very interesting because you can see the replay that already Surrey scores just have five three point field goals. Only one for Bristol so far, but this is tough because Brad Green has a hand in space. That's tough, that is. Yeah, nothing but net for Justin Robinson. What a. Just a super shooter and just totally confident in his own ability. And another player that can create his own shot, Josh. You know, they've got a lot of opportunities, but I want to see the ball, and we've talked about it. I really want to see that ball keep moving. We don't want Paddy at Wang unless the shot clock's running down. Just if it's early in the shot clock, move it around, reverse it, get it inside, and uh, let's get let's get different players a touch so to, just to change the angle, make it tough for Bristol Flyers. Well, definitely some more games to come up in the British Basketball League. Tomorrow you're going to see Manchester Giants. They'll host defending champions of London Lions. That will tip off at 3 p.m. You can watch it live on the YouTube. While well, Surrey, they'll play their doubleheaders. They make the journey all the way up to Ellesmere Port. Take on Cheshire Phoenix. The Phoenix have been good this year, Graham. They are. They're just fabulous. And they uh, put Leicester to the sword last night. And... Uh, They've got some good players. Aaron Wright is back in and firing. And they've got so much. Chaguar has got MVP. I really like the way he plays. He's such a willing runner and defender and scorer. Uh, of course, Ridu as well and Maceo Jack. So they've got a lot of great pieces. And another British coach leading the way uh, in this British Basketball League. Well, of course, the Phoenix definitely off to a good start, as you mentioned. But yeah, which is there, 258. Yeah, we looked at the Flyers at the beginning of the season as maybe one of the teams that you know, I felt were probably going to challenge for a, a top two position here in the league. But, you know, sorry, things are changing for them as Jacob goes for a three. Still can't get it. Thomas Edwards' offensive rebound. He goes up. He gets fouled. That's what the Flyers need to do. Contest second chances. Yeah, sorry, Scorchers are relatively small squad and, and they have to box out at such a high level Mohamed's tried to tip that and he's missed it Lawrence is on the wrong side of the player who rebounded it Walker so yeah, big trouble there for, for Surrey Scorchers but they've got to keep pounding the balls Bristol Flyers to drag themselves back into this game again makes the free throw as we mentioned with the Flyers that's their first made free throw of the night their third attempt Something they probably just need to try and do a better job at times. Getting to that charity stripe as Thomas Edwards makes it two for two. Bring it down now to a 15 point deficit. Just under 2.45 to go here in the second quarter. Well, Lawrence left wide open, hesitates, takes a three, it's up, and it's good. Well, again, three pointers flying in here for the Surrey Scorchers. Yeah, wide open in the corner there, just knocks it down. They are the highest scoring three-point team in this league. That's the one thing Lloyd Gardner and, you know, Danny Clark mentioned this last night on the commentary that it was a recruiter team that would compete from the perimeter. They turn it right back over here in transition. Flyers have numbers. Well, good recovery by Muhammad. Again, Flyers. No awareness there whatsoever, Graham. Yeah, great intention from Muhammad getting back to steal that ball. Finds Robinson, three, number seven on its way, just can't connect. Jacob draws another foul, this one's again still, so two more free throws coming up for the Flyers. You almost feel like the Scorchers, at some points, could have ran away with this one a long time ago, but you know, Bristol not out of it for sure. I mean, they are a team that can't compete and come back. Yeah, and that's why at times I think that Josh had, had turned down a three in semi-transition. There's a few shots that they've turned down early in the shot clock to maybe just feel as though they are keeping control of this game. They don't want to run away with things and let Bristol Flyers get out in transition because they've got so many great athletes and one of them on the, on the free throw line now, Jean Jacob. Well, Jacob's been averaging just under 12 points per game this season. Just gets the free throw to drop. Yeah, one thing that makes him such a difficult player to defend when he is making his three points, he has such a high release and he elevates so high. But tonight, it's almost like he's been taken out of his game plan due to the defense of the backcourt of the Scorchers. 
Yeah, he does make some tough shots at times. I'm sure he'd rather just have some more straightforward three-pointers, but he is eye-catching the way he plays, left-handed, and, and as you say, that really high release. But they've got to find some sort of formula and solution to beat this Surrey Scorchers outfit. 16-point deficit, 1.53 to go here in the second quarter. Still playing point guard for the Scorchers. Thomas Edwards trying to get right up in his face, trying to be a bit more aggressive on defense. And again, it's another one. It's the same thing you said there, Graham. It's the right idea, but the pass is coming from behind almost. Yeah, two defenders right there as well, and it's behind Jameson. I think Lawrence should have kept hold of that. I'm sure if he had the chance again, he'd have kept hold of the ball, but Jameson steals it. And the other way. So just threw that away as well. Saquon Jameson didn't even need to do much. I think Austin's got to be patient, like Brad Green's cement position. Yeah, if you've got Brad Green on the floor and he's got a mismatch, just wait for a couple of seconds. Let him post up, let him impose himself under the basket. Well, timeout is going to be called as Andreas Kapoulis wants to talk over, but when we come back, Scorch is currently our leader by 16 points, and you know, it hasn't. Six three-pointers, you you'd expect that, but Basel fans, we're going to show you something to look forward to in January, coming here in the British Basketball League. The British Basketball League trophy is back. The stakes are higher. The action is bigger. Here's how it all goes down. All 10 league teams are split into two groups of five. The trophy games are played across three weekends in January, where each team plays four games within their group, two at home and two away. The top two teams from each group will go into the semi-finals. It all comes down to an epic final four weekend at the Utilita Arena in Birmingham on the 27th and 28th of January, 2024 with back-to-back semi-finals played on the Saturday, followed by a double header with the men's and women's finals played on the Sunday. It's time to find the 2024 Trophy Champions. Well, exciting times here in the British Basketball League in the Trophy's new format this season, Graham. I tell you what, I'm booking my tickets already to go to Birmingham on the 27th and the 28th. That is going to be a monumental moment this season. Yeah, it was an incredible final last year with Caledonia Gladiators winning that on the buzzer with Sloan's corner three. But yeah, like the way they, they're putting them in two pools and uh, having it at Utility Birmingham right in the center of the country, it's going to be absolutely packed. I'm sure it'll be a sellout. Lawrence coming off one screen. Finds still, still puts up the three. It's up. Number seven. It's Raiders three pointers here at the sports park. Yeah, perfect rhythm when Steele catches and he's into his shooting motion as soon as he catches the ball. Invariably, it's going to find the bottom of the net. Scorches in seven heaven from the perimeter. They're doing what they do best. 19 point lead to Surrey. Bristol just need to calm themselves. Trying to get into some momentum now. This is better by Thomas Edwards. And, you know, you want to see this from the Flyers. If you're struggling offensively, get to the free throw line. Break yeah. time down. Absolutely. Get into Jameson. Try and get their bigs in trouble, in foul trouble, because it's all been Surrey Scorchers in this first half. But nice little hesitation. Then he went again, and, uh, and he's at the free throw line. That's exactly where Bristol Flyers need to be. Well, we know the Flyers definitely have some injuries, you know, playing last night. You know, they're up against it. We're talking about one of the best teams here in the British Basketball League. But 28 points, you know, they could get to 30 by the halftime. That's just too little for them, for their standards and their expectations. Yeah, and last time when they played, Surrey Scorchers held them to 34% from shooting from the field, and, and they had real problems, real problems last night in that fourth quarter. They just run out of gas at home against the Manchester Giants, and Coach Kapoulis is just trying to find something that's going to unlock the key for this team. Well, they've just caught a foul there on the rebound against Mohamed, and to see the replay that one it did look at first glance and he had good positioning but nonetheless well Graham Bell will go to the charity stripe here for the Flyers I missed the free throw 50.8 seconds left here in the second quarter 18 point lead to the Scorchers I think Muhammad who got penalized is now wondering where's my foul 
17 points of separation. Scorches trying to build a bigger margin going into the halftime break. Flyers just need to stop here on defense. And James goes up, oh, trying to take a body with him. <laughs> Look what that means. I mean, he's disappointed that he's not going on every single social media platform across the world stage of basketball. But look at the pick and roll. And again, you mentioned it, much better pass finding the big man. Yeah, and on the move. He wants the ball half facing or facing the basket. Then he can use his athleticism, create a bit of separation from Brad Green, and then Green's in all sorts of trouble once Jameson starts to elevate. But what a performer that Jameson is. He's played at Scorchers before, put up some massive numbers, always a, a top rebounder right at the top of the rebound standings again this season. But he can, if he just brings that little bit of nous, that offensive nous, gets some points on the ball to go with his rebounds, big things can happen for Scorchers. They could make the playoffs. Well, that's a problem now for the Flyers because three players all with three personal fouls. Brad Green, Tevin Olison, and Leslie Smith. So this could be a problem here for the Flyers, but not a bad foul nonetheless because Saquon Jameson missing the first free throw. Makes the second one. Back to an 18-point ball game. Nine seconds difference between game and shot clock here for the Flyers. Scorch has decided to stay in a 2-3 zone defense. Roman and Josh still currently in the back with Saquon James in the middle. Jackson tries to penetrate, nowhere to go. Smith doesn't take many three-pointers, just can't get it. Oh, good job by Rafa Tom, but he missed the putback. And they're going to call foul. This is a, you know, first of all, credit to Rafa Thomas Edwards for getting the offensive board. Unlucky not to get the putback, but then he's going to get penalized for the over the back foul. So it's going to be two free throws coming up for the Scorchers. He's such a great hustle player. 5.7 rebounds a game on the season. Three rebounds this season, and that's tough. If that's against him, that's really tough. He's just getting after it, doing the right thing, exactly what Coach K would want him to do. I don't know what anyone did wrong there. It's just four players competing for a rebound. There was no over the back there. Yeah, it's just maybe the way things are going for Bristol Flyers. But, uh, Jameson back at the line. The one positive sign here for the Flyers, they do have eight offensive boards, and it's just something they need to be relentless at going in the second half. If they still can't get their offensive game from the perimeter in any rhythm at the moment because you know, they have struggled immensely. One for 12 from the three-point line, while the Scorchers, on the other hand, as expected, seven for 16 from the three-point land. That is just wonderful, just below 50%. That is just outstanding, and it's the volume they shoot. And no team shoots more per game than the Surrey Scorchers. Flyers have 8.7 seconds now. Oh, they turn it right back over. Why it goes up, doesn't get the ad one. And this has become a calamity jade here for the Bristol Flyers. And again, I like Surrey Scorchers. They're keeping the pressure on the whole of this half, this quarter. They push the defense right up underneath the Bristol Flyers hoop. And I'm not sure what was happening with that pass. That was complete miscommunication. And the ball falls into the hands of defensive specialist Paddy at Wayne. Well, just missed the free throw. That's now the third missed free throw here of the evening for the Scorchers. Currently now 16 for 19 from the charity stripe. Can make this 17 if he makes this one. Just gets it. 21 point lead to Surrey. 5.4 Flyers just need to get something here. Oh, they got to call a foul. That's a silly reach to give him because now you're just giving them the last two points here of the first half. Yeah, that is a dangerous play going in from behind if you get it right fine you poke it away but at it Wayne making a mistake there because just a little bit of momentum is gonna go with Bristol Flyers if Jackson can make both of these any sort of positive glint of light is what Bristol Flyers want at the moment well, Jackson can make this a 19 point ball game but misses the free throw well, Basel fans, it's a 20-point lead to the Surrey Scorchers. 
And again, a lot for him to think about going into the halftime break, Graham. Yeah, everything's going against him right from that fourth quarter last night, right through the game so far. But they've got to stick together. It's a really big halftime team talk for Coach K. Well, Vassal fans, we're going to take a short break as we will be back momentarily. Welcome back, Basel fans. Second half action will be getting underway soon here between the Surrey Scorchers and the Bristol Flyers. But, you know, statistically, we need to break this game down as we look at some of the key facts in this game that's led to a 20-point lead here for the Surrey Scorchers. But, Graham, you know, three-point shooting definitely is one of the factors, but the turnovers, I mean, it's interesting. 12 already from the Flyers. Yeah, they've been really sloppy. Highlight by that last one where there was a little bit of pressure up the floor, but not enough to make them cough the ball up like that. But the three-point percentage, seven of 16 outstanding, one of 12, a massive, massive problem for Bristol Flyers. Of course, the free throw difference between these two teams, Flyers doing a better job. But Basel fans, we'll take you now to the story of the first half of this game so far. Well, Flyers, you thought it was going to be a good game for them, finding Brad Green, but you know, they just haven't been able to get the ball to the big man, Graham. Yeah, they just haven't quite been able to get the right angles. Jordan Hunt and Sucker and Jameson have done a good job. And then our pre-game player focus, Quinn Cooper, with that step back three as well. And that just sort of got Surrey School to started. Well, here was Padir Wang's penetration. You know, slowly but surely, he has really asserted himself in this game. But, you know, what can we say about the big man from New Zealand? Well, we said that Surrey Scorchers need more from Jordan Hunt, and that was just wonderful play from him and having Robinson in the game as well is a, is a huge plus for Surrey Scorchers. We're getting all the key facts coming back, but, you know, interesting, we've seen a lot of 2-3 zone defense from Lloyd Garden tonight in his place. You know, what can we make of this? Yeah, they, they're in, inviting Bristol Flyers to continue shooting from the outside, but if you don't get your spacing right, as Hunt knocks down another three with that little pause before he pulls the trigger, if you don't get your spacing right, they can make that high-low pass, which is exactly what the Flyers did to break down the zone. Yeah, what are some ways that the Flyers could try to get back in this game? They've only made one three-pointer, but 
we have seen a bit better. Eight offensive boards in the game so far. Is that something they need to build on? Yeah, that is just energy and effort and attitude. And they've got to keep doing that. They've got to get out to Paddy at Wayne because when he stops and pops, that can also cause you a major, major headache. Keep getting, it, getting after the rebounds. And that was a beautiful team play. Three players involved. Wang the passer, Cooper the screener, Hunt with the easy finish. It was Justin Robinson, the three-pointer, right in the face of the big green machine. Brad Green, seven three-pointers on the night. And, you know, Basel fans, we are going to take a break before we come back for the second half. But we're not going to leave you alone. We're going to show you highlights between Sheffield and Leicester Riders and then topped off with the top ten plays of Week 9 here in the British Basel League. Please enjoy. Ramsey going away. Are you kidding me? Devel Ramsey, more like Magic Ramsey, behind the back to finish. This guy is incredible. Shock still lead by one. Pipkins down the middle, holds on, and gets the air one. How does he hang in the air like that? I don't know, but he's the human highlight real up in Sheffield. McKenzie finds a space. Pick and pop, Adobu tries another three. This one's up, and finally, Lester get the first triple of the evening. Time's winding down. Idle Rock coming off one screen. Finding Stewart. Goes down to Bennett, Cook goes up. Again, if he gets the ad one, that was incredible. Yeah. I don't think he knows how he scored that one. Holmes gets it in. Can he get the second tray ball? No problem. Cutting it down at two point ball game. Well, they're going to turn this one over. Finds Kippen Nichols. Fast and your seat belts behind the back. Oh, why? With the big Aristotle, second ad one. We'll try to penetrate. Thomas. Well, made his last three. Can Thomas get another one? Now he's got 17 points tonight. He is cooking here. That Akoya pump fakes. Goes baseline. Kicks out to Ramsey. Well, this is good ball. They had Rotino wide open. Stewart went for three. But again, why make that extra pass when Stewart can deliver? Five seconds here. Kenzie spits a defense but throws it right away. Well, there's the full court shot. It's up. Oh, my goodness. Good night, Yorkshire. That is for you. Hasbury, quick move under the basket again. That looked like the most composed move we've seen from him tonight. Ramsey trying to come off a ball screen, looking to penetrate, or well, maybe getting away with a push off, sending Kimball into the baseline. Basel fans at the end of this one. Sheffield Sharks win 91 to 84. Dry. Trying to get one last score, fighting his way through, it goes in, and he'll have a chance to tie the game from the free throw line. Wow, unbelievable. Why just stepping his way around and through the defender. Off the dribble. Nice ball fake, selling dreams, Rafael Thomas Edwards. Can they finish the play? Leslie Smith off the dribble to the right, punching it, and one big play from Bristol flies. Rafael Thomas Edwards selling it, dreams out here, Z. I love that, and then the finish by Smith, rocking the rim, great team basketball. Oh, big block again this time, Fraser Malcolm pushing forward, Jovicic driving, Moore Jr. And this time he won't miss, he'll stop the rims in Glasgow. Great defense that then ignites their offense. I love this Caledonian. Sharks come up again, uh -oh. goes in, and again throws it down. With no regard, Pipkins takes a body with him. He saw a clear runway. Holmes on the beautiful spin, switches oh. over to the right hand and puts it in. Oh, just what the riders needed. That's pretty. Right on time, getting out to back. And no, it's taken away. Last second. How about that for your first half highlight? Caleb Asbury giving the fans at Morningside Arena a good reason to stand in line for their popcorn. Good 
goodness me, look at that. There we go, right on cue, dancing his way through the defence for two. Ricky McGill. Woo. Nice steal there, though, Andrew Lawrence. Find a teammate, Wang time, throwing it down, Wu Tang, Wang. Bang, bang, Paddy Wang, we love it. Corey Samuels, no chance. It's stolen away by Ward Hibbert, right on cue. Hail Mary pass, McGill, look oh. up to Green, who jams it in. Oh, showtime in Newcastle. Taj Green throws it down. I think Taj liked that as much as we did. Oh, good defense there by Pipkins. He got in the pocket. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Pipkins just putting on a highlight reel. JT, Ooh. what did we just see? Yeah, <laughs> LeBron esque. Welcome back, Basel fans. Second half about to get underway here between the Surrey Scorchers and the Bristol Flyers. I'm your commentator, Josh Bennett, alongside Graham Hiscock. But before we get going, we're going to show you some of the key fixtures coming up this weekend in the British Basel League. Well, later on this evening, the Caledonia Gladiators will be taking on the Newcastle Eagles. And tomorrow, we have an exciting doubleheader as Manchester Giants will host the London Lions while Cheshire Phoenix. They'll be hosting Coach Lloyd Gardner's Surrey Scorchers. And it's going to be an exciting weekend to end up here in the British Basel League. Well, here's been the man, the big talking point in Graham. I mean, how can we sum up his game here tonight? I mean, he has been terrific. He's been the full package, just starting with these threes off the pick and pop. Bit of miscommunication by Bristol Flies. He makes some pay. And then that was the second one. Same sort of position, but on the other wing. And then he goes to the basket, gets the ball up above his head to make the most of his, his height then. Bristol Flyers must have thought he was going to pop to the corner. He just cuts to the bucket 
off the Queen Cooper screen and the Paddy at Wang pass. Well, he's been terrific, as we mentioned. 16 points this evening, shooting five or six from the field. He's 100% from the perimeter. But, you know, we made an interesting, well, you made an interesting observation because I was a bit hesitant about him because I thought he was sometimes hesitant in his own game. But you mentioned that's his game. He's a pass-first big man. Yeah, I think he's, that's why Lloyd Gardner will like him. He's, he wants to get, get players involved. But when it's his turn to shoot and he's got space, he, he can knock that shot down. I really, I think at times earlier in the season when I've seen him shoot, his legs, I feel, haven't been as flexed as I'd like to see them. But this, this game, he's just taking his time. He's sunk into his shot, knocked it down, and he's not touched the ring at all. Both of those threes flying straight through the net. Scorch is currently 7 for 16 from the perimeter with the 20-point lead. Remember, the Flyers do have three players who currently do have three fouls, that being Leslie Smith, Brad Green, and Tevin Ollison. Interesting, Ollison has only taken one shot so far from the field, and you know, he was one of the players that we told the fans to look out for, but he has been struggling against Surrey's defense. Yeah, Ollison just hasn't seemed, in, seemed himself today at all. Uh, not getting a lot of minutes, not getting the ball, and just maybe he's feeling the effects. He has such a huge game last night, 26.7 rebounds, eight assists, and uh, maybe it's tough to come back, but there's a steal there. Here they go. Got numbers here. Jacob's going to go up. County gets the out one, and that's one good way to start the second half. Bristol converting the turnovers into transition points. It's beautifully done by Jacob. There's Paddy at Wang again. Just unfortunately for Surrey Scorch is involved in that turnover. He had that foul right at the end of the second quarter, and he gets the early foul here, Paddy Wayne. He just got to keep himself under control. But good play from Bristol Flyers. Well, Bristol are going to make a comeback. It's got to be defined here in the next few moments. They've got to build a little bit of momentum here, try to get as close to 10-point depths as they can by the end of the third quarter. But you see that's their first field goal off a turnover from yeah. Surrey Scorchers in the game for the Flyers. Yeah, and that says a lot because they've got a lot of good athletic players, a lot of speed, so they want to turn the ball over, speed Surrey Scorchers up, which they haven't been able to do at this point in the game. Trying to find Quinn Cooper off a stagger screen. Lawrence nowhere to go. They want a traveling violation, but nothing called here. Still with time running down. Another turnover. Flyers finding Ollison, but he turns it right back over. And, you know, positive signs for the Flyers, but you know, they could be within 50 points if they convert that fast break point. Yeah, and things can be really changing momentum, but good transition defense from Surrey Scorchers. They just did enough. But again, that, that offense, they, they ran through that Surrey Scorchers, but in the end, Josh still had to go one on one, couldn't get it done. Lawrence going all the way with a beautiful penetration right at Brad Green, the veteran, getting the first field goal, the second half for the Scorchers. I think Saquon Jameson may have just taken a shot he may not appreciate. I think to knock Saquon Jameson down has got to be a really big hit. Let's just see what happens here. And he oh my goodness. Look at the shot. I think Saquon Jameson. Well, he must do gymnastics or something to do the splits yeah. like that and not be injured. Wow, that's really impressive. Maybe a bit of moisture on the floor uh, causing that slip, but... I'm impressed he's not gone off injured. <laughs> if that was me, I'd be in an ambulance by now. <laughs> that's really uh, the last thing they need, Surrey Scorchers, with the momentum they've got is an injury to Jameson as he battles Brad Green down low. Well, Jacob, aggressive penetration. You know, where's that been in the first half? We haven't seen that. Yeah, well, Saquon Jameson couldn't come over to help, so Jacob just went straight to the bucket. Lawrence pulls up mid-range, no foul calls. Flyers have numbers, can they push this one? Green top of the key, doesn't take many mid-range shots, but when he does, six it down. Flyers building confidence, yeah. 15 points of separation. Yeah, great transition jump shot from Brad Green, just stepping inside the three-point arc and knocking it down. 7-2 run so far here in the second half for the Flyers. Make that 7-4. Ahmed finishing under pressure. Good catch by Mohamed in traffic. Pass from Andrew Lawrence. They needed that basket. Momentum was going all Bristol Flyers way. It's another careless pass, but Flyers will get this back. 11 here on the shot clock. Yeah, just a bit too much distance for that pass, and Josh Steele had seen it coming and knocked it loose. 
Sports Park trying to rally behind their team. Jackson now got it here by Cooper. Jules have found her go back to the free throw line. Yeah, we did mention this in the first half. One way Bristol can't help themselves try to get to the charity strike persistently here in the second half. Yeah, they've got three players, as you said, Josh, in foul trouble. They've just got to keep pushing, get to the basket, get all the way to the basket. And make Surrey Scorchers have to play really tough defense. And they're at the front, free throw line. Jackson, just adjusting to his new team, played in Sweden uh, up until he moved across here. Interesting. We're talking about a player who previously played few games in the British Basketball League with the Leicester Riders, but you know, has played in Sweden, Israel, and also played in Vietnam as well for the Na Chang Dolphins. Na Chang, a beautiful coastal city. It's amazing where some of these players have played internationally. Yeah, and we talked about Quinn Cooper having played in Palestine and Malta, where he averaged over 30 points a game over there. And then you've got the, these players playing in Finland, Sweden. Uh, there's so many great leagues around Europe and the world. Still trying to come off a ball screen. Cooper's made one three tonight, gets it. Well, no. <laughs> it looked like it went in, but it's definitely nothing but net. Yeah, Cooper just struggling to get off. Well, there you go. He answered my critics because we didn't see much of him in the, in the first half. But Bristol slowly but surely, undeniably, getting themselves back in this one. That's a big time shot. Not even squared up to the bucket. Catches, elevates, and knocks it down with that left hand high release stroke. That's. Worrying signs for Surrey Scorchers. 7.20 to go here. So look how quickly he gets his feet set. It's the elevation up in the air. And he just does the follow through right at the pinnacle. Yeah, Trajan Jacob with Olison being quiet. Tejon Lewis out. He is huge for Bristol Flyers this evening. I think, Joss, this is really about how much Surrey Scorchers want to stop this momentum because any more baskets, if they get it below 10, then everybody gets nervous. The crowd are going to play a huge part here as well. Uh, they've just got to get back to doing what they were doing. Don't try and just manage the lead. Just keep pushing. Uh, Bristol Flyers are the team that played last night. Some of their players played really heavy minutes, including Tevin Ollison, which may explain he's, he's a lot quieter today. But somebody's got to step up from Bristol Flyers, pull together and say, we're not going to lose back-to-back -back games last night and tonight, and also back-to-back -back games against Surrey Scorchers. Well, good sign here from the Bristol Flyers, currently on a 5-0 run. Trying to lead in this quarter, 12-4 against the Scorchers. Patience virtue right now here for the Scorchers, not trying to rush anything, but time winding down here on the shot clock. Lawrence now, got to get something here. It's just turning it right over. Flyers have numbers. Jacob goes all the way, and all of a sudden, now it's a 10 point ball game. Yeah, it's just one on one. Lawrence look, looking for options, nothing on. Tries to go behind his back. Gets the ball stolen. Jacob again, outstanding for Bristol Flyers. He's getting way to travel. Again, it's the same thing, just penetrating into traffic and losing the ball. Find a Jackson. We're still trying to make the single digits. Time winding down here. Green setting the ball screen. Jackson pulls up the three. It's up. No good. Robson does enough there to prevent Roel Graham Bell from getting the rebound. On the left wide open. He'll pull the trigger. Three is up. And a bit of a gamble there. Just with Bristol. We're building momentum. Sorry, pegged them back with a triple. Yeah, that is huge from Mohammed, and he, he has to take that shot. They're backing off. They're giving him the opportunity to take the shot, and he knocks it down, and they need so much more from Mohammed. He shows glimpses. He's a gr great athlete, good rebounder. Just need a bit more points output from him, and a good three-pointer from him there. Basel fans currently watching live on the YouTube stream. If you are watching, please subscribe to British Basketball League on YouTube as well as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all social media platforms. Also, make sure you follow up on some of the key highlights for the British Basketball League on its YouTube page, as well as the weekly contact of Inside the Paints. 
Yeah, but so far, Graham, it's been great from the Bristol Flyers so far in this quarter. I mean, you know, defensively, been able to get four points off turnovers, but, you know, that man there, especially Jacob, he needs to get cooking if they're going to get back in this one. Yeah, they've been sharing the ball. Really like that play from Green as well. But Jacob, that is a tough shot from the corner, which, of course, he can make, and he does. But uh, the right person is getting around the ball. He's had deflections, he's knocked the ball away, he's had steals, and he's so quick up and down the floor. Finished with either hand, he, he prefers his left, but he can finish with his right as well. But that is a massive score from Mohamed, just to stop the bleeding for Surrey Scorchers. We'll see how things go now, because it's a lot more evenly balanced than it was at half-time. Well, I like what you saw there from Coach Kapoulis. I mean, Lloyd Gardner probably sent his players calm down the storm, but Kapoulis, you know, they made the run, they got it down to 10 points. But then you saw Brad Green having to give up the three-pointer, but quickly Kapoulis applauding his players. Hey, we're almost in this. Stay in there. Keep your heads into this one. Yeah, looking at the live stats, I think Mohamed's shot was given as a two. His foot was really close to the three-point arc. So, 12-point uh, lead. But, you know, the, if you've given this to Lloyd, uh, Coach Lloyd, at the start of the game, you're going to be 12 but here. Take it. Now they've got to learn from some of the th games that haven't gone their way how to close out these games against the big teams. Lions trailer by 12 points. Currently leading this third quarter by eight points. They need to keep pegging back as Jackson pick and roll here. Well, Graham Bell goes up and another round one. Simple pick and roll sequence and he flexes the guns. Yeah, big time move from Roll Graham Bell. And it was too passive from Hunt there on the defense. He would, as he was coming over to help, they've got to help hard. They've got to stop these players from penetrating to the hoop. There wasn't enough defense there. Graham Bell with the score, and he's at the line. Converts a three-point play, and now the Scorchers. That lead has been cut down to single digits. Interesting, they got Wang here at points. And Justin Robinson on the floor. Trying to go to pick and roll sequence. Hunt going for a post up. Robinson pulls up for a quick three. It's up. And again, you mentioned lack of fluidity here in the offense of the Scorchers. Well, Hunt, good defensive play with the interception. Can Scorchers get a counterattack? Almost turn it right back over, but they will get it back on the baseline. Graham Bell with good defense. Wang didn't see him coming. They've just got to get back in sync there. That, that last shot from Justin Robinson, there was a pass to his left around the three-point arc. Maybe that was maybe that was the play, but he had his sights set on Brad Green. He's already knocked one three down in his face. He was hoping to do it again. Do it again. Wayne got it by Thomas Edwards. Trying to isolate here. Bristol players have a man again. Another turnover, and it's all falling apart for the Scorchers. Yeah, and the ball just not moving. It's just gone between between Wang and Parkinson, and that pass was just way too high, and Paddy at Wang, it's, it's just an unforced error. He is a high-level international player. He shouldn't be making those plays, especially at critical junctures in the game. The Scorchers definitely have come out flat-footed here in the second half. Allison pulls up for Hail Mary three-pointer, can't get it. It would be big if he made that one. The Scorchers take care of the basketball. Robson pulls up for 15, mid range is up, and it's good. It's back to 11 point ball game. With just over four and a half here in the third quarter. Yeah, better offense, three different players involved. Quick dribble, pull up, mid range from Justin Robinson. Nothing but net. The foul has been called off the ball against Justin Robinson. It's going to be the 14th foul here against. Sorry, Scorch. Well, Basel fans, we do have 4.25 to go. We're going to take a short break as we will be back momentarily.
he's trying to keep his composure at the moment because he's got a talented team. But Graham, as we've seen before, his team have given up big leads. Yeah, and he's got an old hand there, Mark Dunning. You coached your dad, and he coached me as well. I've been in contact with, with Mark recently after we've covered a few of his games. So he's got all the advice that he needs, but he's got to get the message through to his team. Don't coast this. They're not going to hand it to you because the Flyers are coming. Well, Graham Bell goes up at another round one, single-handedly trying to lead the comeback here for the Bristol Flyers in the second half. Yeah, again, Bell gets the ball he's there's no pressure defense on him he's able to make the power move the dribble gets closer to the basket exactly where he wants to get to and he makes the makes the play soft off the glass it's almost identical to what happened previously they've got to learn quick i just think you know they're almost like the team that played last night with the fatigue and now bristol flyers have really got to step on and they're pushing towards coming all the way back possibly what chance to make this eight point deficit with 421 to go in the third quarter Sorry, currently choking here. You see, it's just ruthless tenacity coming from Rafa Thomas Edwards. It's Graham Bell. Again, he had the mismatch. I think Jordan Hunt may have just got thrown to the ground. Sorry, needs some patience here. Need to try and build something. Shot clock now. Wang looking to isolate. Got it by Leslie Smith. Smith has got three fouls. Mines Robinson three is up, and that's way off the mark. Yeah, the offense. It's all falling apart, Graham. Just runs down too low. I mean, Wang's just kept hold of the ball a few seconds too long, and they're having to throw the shot up as the shot clock hits zero. Oh, well, Graham Pelk. He is cooking. Fade away off the backboard. Yeah, he's getting up around his, his season average now at 10 points a game, but what a great move. That is so tough with the fadeaway and the soft touch. Well, that is a very poor foul to give away because... There should be two free throws, I believe. Just an hour in the bonus, but... No protest so far here from Lloyd Gardner. Back in the game for the Scorchers. They've taken Padilla Wang out of the game. Finds Andrew Lawrence. Still in the corner. Three is up. And a good response there from Surrey. Back to a 10 point ball game. Yeah, Josh works a lot on his game. He's always trying to improve, improve. And that catch and shoot is perfect. Both his three pointers are identical shooting. Point. who's been leading the way for Bristol in the third quarter. What a foul now. Time is winding down. Smith trying to take on Jameson. Goes in for a tough fadeaway. Can't get it. Scorch has come up with a loose ball. Over two and a half here in the third. Lawrence fine still. Another foul has been called on the ground, but we are in the penalty here at the moment. Well, no, sorry, excuse me. That's a third team foul for the Flyers. Yeah, just quicker ball movement there, semi-transition. Bristol Flyers trying to find their defensive assignments. And Josh, Josh goes to his favoured left hand. He's a right-hand shooter, but he likes to go left. And foul call. I have to avoid the five-second violation. Scorch is now here. Jameson, nice back to but again, a foul has been called. That's going to be the fourth foul against Brad Green. So, you know, they've got to get him out of the game now, surely. Yes, a long way to go in. A long way to go in this game. But again, get Jameson in motion, getting in behind the defense, and he gets the, he gets the play. Well, 12 points so far for Royal Graham Bell, but, you know, the majority of them coming here in the third quarter, you got to love what he does, pick and roll action. He, you know, he can hurt you in so many ways. He can shoot from the mid-range, he can post up. Again, he is <laughs> so strong. But you know, the one play I like, Graham, the reverse fadeaway off the backboard was my, this one right here. It's incredible. Yeah, that is tough. I mean, it, that takes a lot of core strength, a lot of touch, uh, and he executed it perfectly. But I like that running lap. He went straight into Jordan Hunt and said, OK, I'm taking charge of this situation. And it was Hunt again that just couldn't deal with... Rowley Bell's 
uh, strength on that on that next play. Jameson missed the free throw. Scores to get the offensive rebound. Lawrence puts up the three. That one's going to be off the mark. Well, interesting. They've kept Brad Green in the game. Currently one foul for getting out of here. Smith finding Jacob off the handoff. The three is up. No good. Hunt gets a rebound. We still have a man down. Can the score just take advantage? Find Hunt goes up, but again, he missed a wide open gimme. Okay, Chris will take advantage of this one. Green trying to take on Hunt. He struggles as well. That's where I think the fatigue comes in. Bristol were playing with four players there because Smith is, is hurt. Again, the back-to-back -back, back -back night games um, can cause some fatigue, issue, some fatigue issues. But Surrey Schools is just able to hang tough there defensively, Josh. Otherwise, that could have been another score for Bristol Flyers and they get under 10 points. I think Lloyd Gardner is infuriated right now because the game has been stopped due to the injury of Leslie Smith. This, this is a bigger, bigger problem though here because if Smith is hurt, Green's got four fouls. Yeah. Bristol could be in a bit of trouble. This could be a big problem. So they're going to have to really dig deep for the next 141, but then they're also going to have to collectively try and pull it together in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it's the foul trouble there. And Green on four, Allison three, Jacob three, Jackson three. I think there was a bit of knee to knee there, which is so painful. Hopefully, we'll be able to shake it off. Lawrence pump fakes. Find still. Still spits the defense. Goes in a little. Give me hook shot there and now. It's a 13 point ball game. Yeah, a bit fortunate there, Josh. He got the dribble, slightly fumbled it, but grabbed it and pushed it over the top. Nice floater over Brad Green. Well, Cam Bristle for the next. 70 seconds, just trying to muster something. Well, good hands from Hunt. Thomas Edwards tries to elevate. Just can't get the drop on it. Meanwhile, Surrey just can't secure the rebound, so it will be Flyers ball on the baseline. Fresh 14 on the shot clock for the Flyers. Yeah, and they've just got to keep trying this tactic, keep crashing the balls, get after every missed shot, and produce those extra possessions. Those extra 14 seconds are so crucial. Trying to find Jacob off the curl screen. Green goes into the job box. Smooth as you like there from the big green machine. <laughs> He's got great technique there. Just kinks it that wrist slightly, gets it up really high and just line drives the jump hook home. Well, you think it's a gamble keeping him in the game, but they don't have any choice at the moment. Robinson going down the middle. Nowhere to go here. Again, throwing it right away. Josh Steele and Corey Samuels just having a head-to-head -head moment. Thomas Edwards, that's just not acceptable defense there by the Scorchers because both teams, you know, well, I'd say both teams, but, you know, Flyers are fatigued, but Scorchers mentally more fatigued, I'd say. Yeah, they're making some strange decisions. That last one by Robinson trying to go over the top of Brad Green, almost playing a blind pass to Josh Steele. He should have gone with the bounce pass against the bigger player, but they've just got to get their heads together. Final seconds now, Lawrence. Trying to penetrate, goes all the way, avoids the block. Beautiful move by Andrew Lawrence, getting the final field goal here in the third quarter as Surrey hold on to an 11-point lead against the Bristol Flyers. Well, Basel fans, we have one quarter to come in this game. Coach Lloyd Gardner just a little bit relaxed at the moment, knows that his team need to dig deep for 10 more minutes. Well, Basel fans, we're going to take a short break as we'll be back momentarily.
Welcome back, Basel fans. Fourth quarter to get underway here between the Surrey Scorchers and the Bristol Flyers. Well, he does look a little bit stressed out at the moment. You might need to give him a phone call at the end of the game. Yeah, just to, uh, well, maybe leave it till, till tomorrow if things don't go right. But they've got to make a stand here, Surrey Scorchers. Don't play passive, play really, really tough. Well, Graham Bell goes to the three-pointer, can't get it. Smith, the offensive rebound, still can't get it. But here's the one player, well, the rejection. Mohammed just said to Rafa Thomas Edwards, get out of here, not in my house. But that was three offensive rebounds, and we talked about how, how good they've been at, at that skill, and they continue to be, but Surrey Scorchers have to box out early, get position, and match Bristol Flyers' effort. As you mentioned that, I mean, they've got to put those back, but, you know, credit to Rafa Thomas Edwards. That's something he's been relentless in this game, but you can't waste those opportunities. Fine still. Going down to Jordan Hunt. Beautiful basketball. Dumped out to the big man, the big Kiwi. Yeah, quick passing, quick decision, straight inside to Hunt. And in motion, he's able to use his size and his touch to get it to go off the glass. Thomas Edwards gets caught a double team. Nowhere to go here. Once Leslie Smith throws it down. Are you kidding me? Leslie all of a sudden just silences the Surrey Sports Park. Graham, that was with a bit of authority. <laughs> There was some serious venom. Look, the, the defense just opened and he spiked it through. And Mohammed, just completely out of position, reaches out and commits the foul. Well, Leslie Smith just sent a message there. Get the hell out of the way if you're inside the paint, if you want to be put on a poster. We can now make this a 10 point deficit with nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Converts a three point play. You can see currently Smith and Brad Green with four fouls each. They're going to need Smith in this game, definitely for sure. But good defense by Leslie Smith. Quite a gamble to take there when you have four fouls, Graham. Yeah, I mean, good play, good aggression, and it, it all paid off for Flyers. Again, are you kidding me? Missing a wide open layup, but it gets the ball back. And a, and the foul's going to be called against Andrew Lawrence. And, it's a tough one because Lawrence does get an elbow to the face, but I think that's a right call nonetheless. But Dan Clark clearly not agreeing with the call. I think it's Graham. I want your analysis on this because Lawrence goes for the reach, gets the elbow. But if he doesn't reach, he's not going to get an elbow to the face. No, again, it's all about being in the player's cylinder, the offensive player's cylinder. But again, sloppy. Jordan Hunt getting blindsided on the steal. Let's just watch. Is it a natural? It's a. Well, it's the reach. The reach is what yeah, causes the elbow. Yeah. If you don't reach, you don't get the elbow. No, he's in a not natural position, the offensive player. So, yeah, it's tough for Andrew Lawrence, but I think that's, uh, that's a deep defensive foul. Ryan Bell trying to go for the isolation, just can't get it. Foul's going to be called again on the ground, and Rafa Thomas Edwards, the moment. The heartbeat of the Bristol Flyers keeping them in this, going in for second chances relentlessly. Yeah, they've got their identity back. They've got players on the floor that are just going to give everything for the calls. Energy, enthusiasm, getting after it, never giving up on a, on a, on a missed shot, anticipating the miss. It's such a great talent to have offensive rebounds. And in the end, the more offensive rebounds they get, they will get their just reward and get some extra scores. Flyers get something, well, they almost turn it over. Jacob finds Smith. Lawrence comes up with it. Well, Hunt looks ahead there, they had a two on one. Lawrence left uncontested, three is up, and it's good. 13 point lead back to the Flyers. Well, I guess that's why he didn't look ahead, Josh, because he had a three point shooter behind him. Andrew Lawrence drains it from behind the arc. Big moments there for Surrey Scorchers. Well, Flyers, again, they have to maintain it because yeah, they can get back in this one, but they just keep choking under pressure. Well, can this man keep them alive? Jacob penetrates, goes in around the defense. Another offensive board here by Thomas Edwards. And again, big Rafa keeping this team alive. Yeah, that is just awesome for Rafa Thomas Bell. He's just getting after it. No box out, totally unimpeded. Gets it back, gets it to go off the glass. Still now, top of the key penetrates. Goes in with a little teardrop, just can't get it. 
Punk gets the offensive board. The big man, Kiwi, putting up a fight. Yeah, getting after it, grabbing the rebound, getting it above his head as quickly as possible. Soft touch off the glass. Smith fires a three, missed one in the first half, but no problem with this one. Now it's a 10 point ball game, back and forth between these two teams. And a nice catch and shoot. Total confidence there. Keeps Bristol Flyers in touch. It's going to be down to defensive presence of both these two teams. Can they get the key stops here? Lawrence with no time left. Looks to penetrate, finds a Cooper. Cooper's only made one tonight, just can't get this one. Yeah, they've not overhelped off Quinn Cooper, and that's why he's having a tough night getting open looks. Oh, no basket, that's an interesting decision. Foul's gonna be called against Josh Still. It's a last team foul for Surrey to give here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that call could have gone either way because they were going downhill, Bristol Flyers. Push ahead from Jackson. Let's have a look here. Well, how's that on Josh Steele? That's an M1 to me. That's a continuation. Well, yeah, Raul Graham Bell, he did hesitate, then he went again across the key and made the score, but well, let's, another day, another ref, referee, that, that is an M1. Well, unless the foul was called at the hesitation mode. If he was called in the process of driving, that should be a, again, no free throws here regardless, so. Smith made his last one, goes for another one. Big time three-pointer. Big Leslie making it now a seven-point deficit. Fly is not going anywhere right now, Graham. He's not injured now, and that's big, big shot. Way downtown, knocks it down. And pulls off in the mid-range, Jameson. Lawrence made his last one, left wide over, takes another three. Foul's gonna be cool to get to Flyers. Well, Andrew Lawrence will be di disappointed with himself. He had so much time there. Well, two big trebles coming from Leslie Smith has now cut it down to a six-point ball game. And Graham, you got to love a big man who can shoot from the perimeter. Yeah, and he's going away from their regular offensive punch. They're sort of big players, and with Jackson coming in, go to somebody else because the scout won't be closing that player down, and he's getting some open looks. Great job by Smith. Finding Lawrence. Under 10 here on the shot clock. Scorch is still lead by seven points. Lawrence takes a tough one, but just can't get it. Scorch is struggling here, but can the Flyers capitalize? Smith made two threes, can't get a third one. This one's going to be called against the Scorch, so two free throws coming up for the Flyers. Oh no, it's called against the Flyers. Scorchers will get it back. This is a foul on the offensive rebound because they're getting after it so aggressively. Maybe they've there was too much physicality there, and Surrey Scorchers have got away with one. There was two defenders, one offensive player trying to get the rebound. That one's against Roel Graham Bell. That's going to be too much foul trouble for him to worry about. It's going to be his third personal. Just over five and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. Scorch is becoming Operation Hang On here. Oh, it's another one. It's the third time we've seen that with Wang and Jameson. Yeah, it's, oh. dis it's disappointing for Paddy. Well, even more disappointed there. I mean, are you kidding me right there? You've just come up with a big still. And you turn it over in half court with a carrying violation. Got to take care of the basketball. Yeah, Wang's been brought back in by Coach Gardner to finish this off. Just turns it over again. It's a pass behind Sacco and Jameson. Is Jameson going too early on that pick and roll? Has he got to hang back? Or does Paddy just delay the pass slightly, slightly longer? And again, it's another sloppy turnover. Still, again, tries to dribble up the ball. You can't do that. You got to pass it. Sloppy basketball from both these two teams. But going back to the previous play where Jackson came up with the ball in transition and carried it. Well, Basel fans, make sure you check out our later games on 8 p.m. as the Caledonia Gladiators, they will be hosting the Newcastle Eagles. Gladiators looking to bounce back from the FIBA Euro Cup disappointment this week against Anvil, Wojciechowski and Poland. While Eagles trying to bounce back, well, not bounce back, trying to build on the momentum from their big victory against the Plymouth City Patriots last night. And it's going to be an exciting game between those two. Yeah, really looking forward to that one north of the border. And of course, Newcastle will be going into the European North Basketball League. 
again midweek there's so many big games domestically and in and in Europe for these these big teams in the British Basketball League well, Flyers need something big here could potentially be a five maybe a four point deficit depending on what they go for Jacob penetrates hangs up in the air just can't get it this time Jamison able to secure the rebound a foul has been called with 4.54 to go here in the fourth quarter well, now the Flyers just unable to build something. Yeah, but you... Well, Vassal fans, we're going to take a short break as we will be back momentarily. Welcome back, Basel fans. Final minutes about to be played here in the fourth quarter. We know him very, very well. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever seen him so stressed out. But, you know, credit to him. Great Basel coach. But I think he's almost found the formula for this team to kickstart this season underway. Yeah, his jacket's off. I think he wants to get out there and show his team how to box yeah. out and rebound. You know, come on, guys. You're being too passive. On, you've gone passive on defense. You're not pushing the guys away on the, def on the box out. I mean, give Bristol Flyers credit, though. They have gone after every rebound with so much gusto and enthusiasm. They've been fabulous. We've had the scorch as Hunt goes up. He's trying to dunk him, went in with the layup. And, you know, he is looking like one player who wants the player of the game award tonight, Graham. He has been terrific. Yeah, right from the get-go with the early threes. But when he goes inside and they space the floor, he's just as efficient. Performance from him. 22 points tonight here for Jordan Hunt. Nine point ball game. Can Jake? He's got to get something going here. Pulls up for a tough three point. Turns down the temperature. Now Wang here goes in and around the defense. No foul call. No problem for the king of South Sudan. Yeah, Paddy and Wang got the air ball rebound off the floor and just went. And this time, no turnovers, no problems. And two points for Paddy. Thomas Edwards choking under pressure on the baseline. Well, man, you know, he's had, I think, nine offensive rebounds, only two defensive, but credit to Rafa Thomas Edwards. He's been terrific, but fatigue has been a factor tonight. But also, you have to credit Surrey Scorchers. They are improving game by game this season. Yeah, and everything could have gone west for them again today uh, with Bristol Flyers coming back into the game. But whatever Lloyd said, he's obviously got his jacket off, he's probably thrown it on the floor, whatever he said to these guys, and said, enough's enough now, guys. Let's get back into this game and let's get a W for the fans. Well, Mohammed left wide open, the three is up, no good. The three and a half here in the fourth quarter. Scorches fans, they've been very loud all season. Some of the best fans here in the British Basketball League. And all the atmospheres you go to, it's a place where you want to get a real for the game, especially for a team here in the British Basketball League. Tip it no good. Another offensive ball for the Flyers. Green going in, can't get it. And just helpless here against the defense of Jordan Hunt. 
really important rebound for Jordan Hunt. He just did enough against Brad Green and he grabs it, keeps it. Well, three-pointer would be monumental here for the Scorchers. Hunt's popped out, they don't get the ball to him. Lawrence now pulls up. Three is it. Oh, baby! Good night, Surrey. Andrew Lawrence cooking up the flies at the moment. Yeah. Big time three, Graham. Oh, it's just fabulous play. Uh, Jordan Hunt initially wanted it, but he could see that time was running down. He stepped to the side, left it for Andrew Lawrence to nail it, just like his dad would have done Ronaldo many years ago. He just loves the big moment. Well, there's a play finding Jordan Hunt inside the paper, but looking at the king of South Sudan. So I like to call the South Sudanese step. Not that team qualify, but look at this. Get your umbrellas out. Rain time coming. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Crystal Fly is helpless on defense. Yeah, again, Brad Green, bit of a victim there on defense, having to step out. But Andrew Lawrence, too much range. He was just too good from way downtown. Again, he's got a lot to think about. But, you know, you have to credit, really credit this franchise, the Bristol Flyers, because, you know, it's a tough game for the last night to come on the road. But, you know, one thing I, I absolutely love about Bristol is, you know, the culture that they have down there. They're going to be moving into their own arena eventually in the future. It's a great fan base they've got. Also, I'm noticing, actually, have been meeting some Bristol Flyers fans in London. It shows you the depth of their fan base. Yeah, they've got a lot of history, a lot of success. Coach K, Coach Kapoulis has been there, has been with this program for a long time and a lot of continuity. And he's bringing some top, top players to to the program, but they're just going through a real sticky patch. Now, whatever happens here, Surrey Scorchers have got this game back under control for now, but whatever happens, they just need to regroup. They've got day off tomorrow, a couple of days to sort things out and get back on track next weekend if they don't turn it around. But Surrey, 7-0 run in the last 153. Well, Flyers trying to salvage something. They want to go actually a week, two losses here, two Scorchers, but it looks like it's going to go that way tonight. The Scorchers did actually defeat Bristol last season in, you know, not in league competition, of course, but the Flyers have had a lot of success against this team, and right now it looks like the tables are turning, Graham. Yeah, they're putting together a great roster here, including this man, Robinson. Another D3 can't get it. The offensive board. Jacob goes up, tries to elevate, gets the out one. He'll be going to the free throw line. That's big time play from Tajan Jacob. He can just hang in the air with that left hand. He's almost got a second elevator. It's like a second elevator. And he just finishes it really, really soft off the glass. This game is not over by a long stretch, but Bristol are going to somehow have to find some energy and some good offense and defense just to get themselves back on level terms. Well, great. we've got to give a shout-out. We currently have British Basketball League fans currently watching in Abu Dhabi at the moment. So shout-out to Gabi Chiyonofuji, currently tuned into this game in the British Basketball League between Surrey Scorchers and the Bristol Flyers. Salamat, Paul, and good to hear from you. At the moment now, 12-point lead to the Scorchers. Almost a turnover. Yeah, it's going to be a turnover. So Flyers will get this back. Not over yet, Graham. 155 to go. Only 11-point ball game. Now, if Paddy at Wayne keeps doing that, and again, it's just a, there's a little bit of pressure on him, but he, he's got to learn to just take care of the ball. He's got so many great talents. That's five turnovers now. He's leading his team, unfortunately, in that stat. And he just looks a little bit forlorn, and that, that is something he's really got to tidy up because when he's on the floor, Coach Lloyd Gardner wants him to handle the ball. Well, they're going to need something quick on this offense. Point of Preffley will make it an eight-point ball game. Jacob pulls up, takes a three, run to face Hunt. That's a big-time three-pointer. Yeah, dribbles right, shoots it left, high release. Fabulous shot. They're not going anywhere at the moment, Bristol Flyers. Well, they almost yeah, turn over again. Flyers right now putting up a fight. It's going to be a foul called against Muhammad. Again, a really soft turnover. Just inexplicable almost. Just keep hold of the ball, take care of it, protect it, pivot away from trouble, but don't just hand it to them. And of course, Jacob, prior to that turnover by Scorchers, with the screen, gets into space and elevates and knocks it down with that high release. Well, he's played big so far in the fourth quarter with two huge three-pointers. He's got to make 
make these free throws. Make it a six point ball game, makes the first one. One thirty three to go. Smith missed the second one. Again, needed to make that. He could have made it a six point deficit. They're going to need another stop here. Time on the side of Scorchers. No need to rush anything. Lawrence got it by Corey Samuels. They get the switch on defense. Smith now matched up here against Lawrence. Lawrence down the middle, hangs up in the air, just can't get it. While well, big man Hunt fighting for the offensive board. That's going to go out of bounds, but Scorchers will get it back. That's huge offensive rebound by Jordan Hunt. We've talked about Bristol Flyers with the way they've been rebounding on the offensive end, but that's a huge offensive rebound for Jordan Hunt. Gives Surrey Scorchers another chance to get a score. The baseline possession to Surrey. Fresh 14 on the shot clock. No, there's plenty of time, but something here would probably seal the deal. Finding Robinson. Jacob trying to get up on his face on the defense. No fouls to give. Let's just think about that three-pointer. Kicks out. Muhammad pump fakes. Goes for the three. Three is up. Just can't get it. Flyers come up with it in the end. Oh, there's a turnover, and that is good night. Sorry here, just trying to dribble down the clock as much as possible. And they're going to pick up another victory against the Flyers. Justin Robinson keeps this inbound. Lawrence has got to get something. Draws a foul. He will go to the free throw line. Yeah, I think they're nearly there now, Josh, especially if Lawrence can push the rest on four fouls. So that puts them into Oh, yeah, the that's a four team foul. No free throws. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But they're almost there. They've made it difficult for themselves. Sorry, Scorchers, and a save, Lloyd. Having to remove the jacket to get his message across in that timeout where they came out and started to push ahead again. And uh, we'll see what could transpire, but they've just got to take care of the basketball. Well, Graham, it's that point now. Surrey's going to obviously leave with the victory here now, but I've got to ask you, who's been your player of the game? Well, Jordan Hunt. We spoke about him pre-game off air. He has delivered big big time can you 20, find him? 22 point <laughs> he is if if the coach is. or the player can just move he's he's right there 22.6 rebounds two assists but some big big offensive rebounds down the stretch some great plays cutting to the basket he's got such good soft touch gets the ball up high above his head to make the most of his size so a real breakout game for jordan hunt it's interesting when you look at these two teams and how they've matched up in the last few years, and you know, no doubt, Bristol has been the better team. I think Bristol at the moment, injuries are down, they played a game last night. This is quite a game we look forward to seeing, of course. You know, you look at the two franchises, a lot of similarities, of course, and you know how the fan base, two very good fan base. If you ever go down to a game in Bristol, it's a hell of an atmosphere. I'm looking forward to when they play each other again now. Yeah, it's, well, you've got the rivalry now. They've had the two home Games back to back for Scorchers, and then they're going to have to go twice down to Bristol, and that place will be rocking. So, sorry, Scorchers, they've got the job done. They've had a shaky second half, but they had such a good first half, leading by 20 when they went into the break. That's enabled them to have a little bit of breathing space when Bristol Flyers really pushed hard to get back in this game. Sideline ball, three seconds difference between game and shot clock. So Flyers, no doubt, they're going to have to commit a foul here. Well, they almost turned it over, but Hunt keeps alive. The foul has been called, so the free throws will be coming up here for the Flyers. Now, Graham, where do you think overall it's gone wrong here? I mean, again, we've highlighted the fact, a game last night, a few players down, but you know, at some point you felt Bristol were going to make a comeback in the third quarter. Yeah, they had guys that were really playing big for them maybe they're sort of support players if you like the guys with the offensive rebounds and uh, with Lee with Smith 
just making some fantastic big time threes just no, no hesitation knocking them down the defense wasn't able to get out to him thomas edwards as well and graham bell just crashing the balls but in the end it wasn't enough they needed more from ollison jacob has stood out 22 points as well eight rebounds to assist five turnovers but just not enough collectively from the start i think they had a bit of a hangover from last night's defeat and they just weren't able to get a foothold in the game well bristol will have a game next week in the european north basketball league quite the same level as the FIBA Euro Cup with the Euro Cup, but still great competition for them to be a part of. Basel fans, it's all over here in the Surrey Sports Park. Surrey Scorchers are going to get their second victory in a row against the Bristol Flyers. What a game it was, Graham. Yeah, congratulations to Jordan Hunt. He's the player of the game and Surrey Scorchers. Uh, Lloyd Gardner really had to dig deep there, I think, to get the message time and time and time again over to his team that you've got to rebound, you've got to dig deep. And in the end, they get a well, well-deserved victory. Well, again, he wanted to recruit a team that could shoot from the perimeter. Probably where they have struggled is not having, you know, quite the same kind of level of post play as many other teams. But credit to Hunt tonight. He was fantastic. Credit to Jameson. This team, sorry, pick up their fourth victory. Things are looking better for the Scorchers. Yeah, great mutual respect shown between Coach Coach Gardner and Coach Kapoulis there, but they are a dangerous outfit. Padit Wang again didn't completely get into the flow of the game, but they had other players stepping up, and Jordan Hunt was the pick of the bunch. A well played, well deserved victory. Surrey Scorchers. Well, we're going to break this game down as we reflect on the statistics from this big victory here for the Surrey Scorchers. And you know, one thing as usual that gets this team over the line in the four victories they've had has been their perimeter shooting, Graham. Yeah, they're outstanding. And the free throws, 20 out of 24 from, from Surrey Scorchers, is 10 of 28 from behind the arc. The amount of threes they put up is phenomenal. Just 5 of 23 for Bristol Flyers is not going to get it done. Assists, similar. 40 rebounds, a lot of offensive rebounds at critical, critical stages for the Flyers. Uh, but Surrey Scorchers get the win. Well, again, it's been a big, big victory. But here are some of the key fixtures coming up later on tonight will be between the Caledonia Gladiators. They'll be hosting the Newcastle Eagles one tomorrow. We have an exciting double header between the Manchester Giants as they host the London Lions. And then, of course, Surrey will be heading to the Cheshire Phoenix homeland in Ellesmere Port. And that will be big. We're going to take a look at the league standings here in the British Basketball League. The Lions currently with 13 wins, still with only one loss against the Blue City Patriots. But Surrey now sitting in that playoffs bracket very shortly. Things looking good for Surrey. Yeah, I said it during commentary. If they keep pushing in the right direction, making big plays, they can make the playoffs. What an exciting league this is. And just for eighth spot is going to be super exciting. Well, Bristol Flyers, good luck next week in the EMBL. But we got more basketball games here in the British Basketball League. So join us later. But for now, it's goodbye, and we'll see you soon.